whoever. Um, yeah, I I look up to David because of the way he worships the Lord. But one of the people that I really admire and would one day want to hang out with, okay, one day, pag timing na ni Lord, um, would be Apostle Paul. I'm always inspired of how passionate he was when it comes to winning souls for Jesus. His life was exemplified with such passion that although he was steadfast as a tent maker, he was working. Okay, parang nasa marketplace. He is working in the marketplace if in our present time. But at the same time, he was very focused and he knows his purpose. So um, from my slide, I've actually prepared this scripture from 1 Corinthians 9.22, where he said that when I am those who are weak, I share their weakness, for I want to bring the weak to Christ. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone, doing everything I can to save some. Wow, such passion. He was doing all his work. He was busy as a tent maker. Um, though he was not married, but I'm sure he has fam a family also, like siguro a brother, a sister, or um, relatives. But despite being busy or having work, he was so focused on God's calling for his life. So it's like us. We are busy with our side hustle, but us knowing that wherever the Lord has placed us, whatever work that the Lord has entrusted to us, we know that that is just the, a platform that the Lord has given us for a bigger purpose. And that, the Bible said, that uh, we might win some. I think it is very important for us to always go back to the reason, what could be the possible reason why the moment we become born again, God did not took us right away to heaven. But we're still here because God has a purpose for us that we might win some. And for us to be able to win people for the Lord, we need to do this three things, three things. Things or consider these three things. Number one is we need to be focused. I know I love this word because I myself, there are so many things that has distracted me lately. Like I'm a mom of a three-year-old girl and a an eleven-year-old boy, and I am a homeschooling mom. Okay, uh, so I'm teaching my son. I'm running a business called the Living Pupil Homeschool that's actually, it's just a platform. Um, we are a business, but we have an ulterior motive. And that is every enrollee that we have, we're praying for them. It's like we're praying for them one by one. My team and I are praying for them um, one by one because we want to share the gospel to them. So while managing this and managing the company, and managing my household, at the same time, being deeply involved in the ministry, sometimes there are things that can distract me. But the good thing is, what helps is every time we come before the Lord every day and read his word every day, he refocuses us. He gives us a new direction again and saying, okay, you need to focus on the bigger goal, and that is that you might win some. That we should not let a day pass by without somebody hearing about the gospel or without touching the lives of somebody or being the hand of the Lord or being the heart of the Lord. So number one is focus. Number two, for us to be able to win some, we need to do hard work. Okay, um, weaning people, I realize being also in the ministry and being 
um, and handling cell groups, can realize that usually people come come to the Lord or get to know the Lord. People are getting saved when I pray and when I do something, when I work hard, when I become intentional. Later, I'm going to give um, stories and specific examples on how we are doing it here in, in Cebu, in the Philippines. So hard work. For the task to be done, for souls to be saved, we need to invest our time. We need to be a friend to somebody who doesn't know the Lord yet. We need to be the hand of the Lord. So we need to exert effort. Okay. Um, I understand that for many in your place, just like here in the Philippines also, it's like the Philippines is becoming very, very busy um, every day. Okay, but when we love the Lord, He gives us a compassionate heart that Tayona or we ourselves are the ones saying, Lord, use me, use my life to be a blessing to somebody today. And if we are to be intentional in winning people to the Lord, we need to not just work hard. But at the same time, we need to be strategic. Okay, later again, I'm going to explain that. Um, one of the things that our pastor also has challenged us is that we should give the Lord the tithe, our tithe, not just in the area of finances, but even a tithe of our time. Okay, and to be very, very honest, it's only a few weeks ago that I became very, very intentional in giving the Lord a tithe of my time. It's like really being intentional. Like today, I take note of how much time I spend reading His Word or how much time um, I spend praying because this is my commitment because I realize that if I am to become effective in winning people to the Lord, I need to work hard and I need to be systematic and I need to be able to do the sacrifice. Okay? And the truth is, when we love somebody, it's not a sacrifice at all. Spending time with a person we love is not a sacrifice at all. It's always a delight. It's always a joy praying. It's always a joy listening to the word of God. So if, I, if we are to win people to the Lord, we need to work hard. We need to be systematic. We need to be willing to give the Lord our time. Okay, and the third thing that we need to do, if we are to win some to the Lord, is that this thing that you're doing, okay, prayer. Just like us here, we're also having prayer every day from 6 in the morning to 7.30. <laughs> also, so earlier this morning when RJ called me, I told her, I'm still in the morning prayer. <laughs> yeah, and I said, I'm just going to call her later. Okay, so earlier this morning, we also have a morning prayer. So we're doing morning prayer every day. And what we do to become more intentional in winning people to the Lord, we launch... Every, I think every quarter, we launch a 40 days prayer or 21 days prayer. We're in this specific weeks are devoted to pray for three to five people. So all of us in the church, we have a list of three to five people to pray for. And what we do is that we group ourselves into three. So we call it prayer of three. And the three of us, we are going to pray nine people who do, who do not know the Lord yet. Okay, so I have, like for me, I have two partners. So there's three of us. And the three of us will meet 10 minutes or 15 minutes online every day and pray for the three or five people that are our contacts. So for 21 days. Or for 40 days. And usually on the third week of praying for them every day, 
we start to intentionally connect to them. So this is where the hard work comes. Like um, we, we ask the Lord for wisdom on how to minister to the people that we are praying for. So sometimes the Lord will give us a word or sometimes the Lord will tell us to give this person a specific gift. Sometimes we would visit them. Most of the time we would visit them, intentionally pray for them when they are sick or give them something. And we call this week the Help, Bless, Serve, and Show Kindness Week. But we never stop praying for them. Every day we're praying for them. It's just that on the third or fourth week, we become intentional on reaching out to them. And on the last week, or on the 30th day, maybe, or on the 40th day, we invite them to church. But most of the time, based on our experience, even before we finish the 21 days prayer, by the way, we don't just pray, we also fast for them, for, this, for the salvation of these people once a week. And usually, usually, um, before the 21 days or the 40 days um, prayer is done, there are already people who are responding to the gospel. And this is what's happening now. We are on our, I think this is our third wave this, this year. And we are so excited to see new souls again come to Jesus. And it's almost Christmas, right? Although we know that it's really not December 25, but we're just celebrating. Okay. And what a wonderful way we are right now. We are, we're going to launch this Sunday, the third wave of our prayer freeze. And the next month will be a very, very busy month for us because we will intentionally give gifts and visit those families or those people that we are praying for. So if we do these things, if we will just become intentional and in winning people to the Lord, if we will keep praying just like what we are doing, then okay, we will see a great harvest and we can really put a smile on the face of Jesus because this has been his heart that many will come to salvation. Thank you. Can I pray quickly? Lord, thank Amen. you. That, thank you, Lord, that you have a purpose for us. And thank you for the opportunity that we can work together with you in winning souls. Thank you for this time and thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that I can be with my brothers and sisters via Zoom. In Jesus' name, amen.